The letters on this one look different than the letters on the others. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Welcome back. What do you like? Guess I'm just not in a buying mood. When you want to look again, just come back. I will. Au revoir. Au revoir. That looks like Dieter. Wonder what he's doing. Hey, Dieter! Hi! No, wait! Dieter! Dieter! What did he run away for? That was weird. Looks like he left something on the bench. These must have fallen out of his pocket. Was that Tornade? That's the woman who that historian was calling about. Why would Dieter be carrying this around? Bonjour. What intrigues mademoiselle this time? I wouldn't mind painting another picture or two. Be my guest. Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? Definitely. Be my guest.
Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? Not right now. Maybe later. Later, yes. Now you buy something. Is this parrot very expensive? The price is very reasonable. 20 euro. Would you take half that? 10 euros? Vendu. What else tickles the fancy? I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Bonjour, mademoiselle. What you need, I am sure to have. Well... Actually, I'm not interested in buying anything right now. Then you will just have to come back. I might just do that. Bye. Au revoir. Bonjour, mademoiselle. What you need, I am sure to have. Well... Actually, I'm not interested in buying anything right now. Then you will just have to come back. I might just do that. Bye. Au revoir. before they lay eggs or something. Maybe you should just call an exterminator. No! Nothing good ever comes from killing things. Just go in there and put them back in the box they came in. Carefully, don't kill any of them. And if I were to refuse? You'd be fired. Right. Yuck! That must be the box they came in. Gotcha! My gosh! The letters in these fonts look exactly like the ones that were used in one of those threatening notes Manette got. Which means Heather must have sent it. Late time's over, little guy. Poor girl. Dear Miss Renette, the books on the women of the French resistance, exploits of Noisette Trenade, because she owned the windmill which you now own, this is from that historian who called before. Maybe she can help me figure out why Dieter was carrying that obituary around. This fabric is so strange. It's soft and metallic all at the same time. If I were an insect, where would I hide? Hey, Lynette, 
Open the door. No, I'm not letting you out until you catch all the bugs. at her tea. Here, buggy, buggy, buggy. to be the last bug. You can open the door now, Manette. Did you get all of the bugs? Yes, Manette. How many are there? I don't know, nine. Are they all alive? Yes, Manette. Are you sure you didn't kill any? Positive. And they're all in the box? Yes. Okay, listen. I want you to take that box to the park and let those things go. Only I don't want to be here when you come out. Probably the only thing those twisted little vermin are thinking about right now is revenge. Manette, they're cockroaches. Exactly! So I want you to count to ten, and then, and only then, are you to come out of there, all right? Anything you say. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> what a nut job. Guys, end of the line. You are out of here. Bonjour. What entries, Mademoiselle, this time? Well, let's see. I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, Mademoiselle. Au revoir. in the dark room. Mr. Von Schwesterkronk? Are you in there? Who's there? Nancy Drew. I just wanted to ask you some questions. I'm very busy. You'll have to come back. I just wondered what you were doing in Square du Vert Galant Park. I, uh, I was just taking a walk. You dropped an obituary about Noisette Tournat. Shall I leave it for you? There's no need. I don't want it. Why were you carrying it around? Because I, uh, I was going to send it to my grandmother. I thought she knew the woman. Turns out she didn't. 
You also dropped some kind of trinket. Looks like a miniature clock. That's something my great uncle Hans gave me. It's actually a key. It opens the panel over there to the right of the bookshelf. He lived here during the war. The place has been in the family ever since. What's behind the panel? Go ahead and see for yourself. Just be prepared to go a little cuckoo. Too busy.
punch, Mr. Kronk? Believe it or not, that key your uncle gave you opened up some kind of passageway. Is it okay if I see where it goes? A passageway? You never said anything about the passageway. Go ahead and explore it all you want. Just be careful, this building is very old. Glad I'm not a fly. what that symbol means. The year when our despair ended, the year when my despair began. What intrigues, mademoiselle, this time? Could I paint some more? Be my guest. Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? Not right now. Maybe later. Later, yes. Now you buy something. I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. stuffed parrot? Here you go. What's it for, anyway? It's a Minette thing. You wouldn't understand. No one would. Why did you write Minette that threatening letter? What? You think I wrote those letters? I saw the memo you sent Minette about fonts. The letters on it match the letters on one of the threats I found in her dodo box. You opened Minette's dodo box?
That's the real reason you didn't want me looking in there, isn't it? Okay. A couple months ago, I got so fed up with her that I... I just had to get back at her somehow. I'd seen how upset those other letters made her, so I sent one of my own, but just that one. And I never intended to really do anything to her. I just wanted her to suffer. You know, emotionally. The way she made you suffer when she started going out with Dieter. You really don't miss a trick, do you? I thought when she dumped him like that that he'd finally come to his senses and realize that I'm the one he should be with. But even now, even after she broke up with him, she still has some kind of weird, sick hold on him. Look, you're not going to tell Minette about this, are you? There's really no need. It'll just upset her all over again. And she's so far behind as it is. And there's no telling how she'd take it out on me, or on you, for that matter, just for telling her. So don't say anything to her, okay? I'm gonna have to think about it. I'll see you later. What? Someone with a German accent called for you when you were fitting JJ, but he didn't leave a message. Oh? He sounded kind of angry. I'm sure it wasn't important, so don't worry about it. What else? Do you have any idea who sent you that box of cockroaches? No. Probably just some idiot who has no understanding of how much I have to do and how long it takes me to do it and thinks the world revolves around him and what he wants and can't understand why people don't jump just because he snaps his finger. I mean, probably just some practical joker, that's all. I won't disturb you any longer. Good. What's up? I'll let you get back to work. Okay. Maybe I'll try my hand at designing something else. Jingling, is it really you? Uh, no, this isn't Jingjing. I'm just calling from her phone. From her phone? So, you know Jingjing? Are you her friend? Well, yeah, I guess. You are the most lucky person in the monde. I am a big fan of Jingjing. I call her house and leave massage. I call Minette because I know she works there, but she will not talk to me. She is too... Mm, what is the word? Paranormal? Uh, you mean paranoid? Yes, yes, paranoid. So, if you are not Jing Jing, why do you call me? This is Zhu, right? Yes, yes, I am Zhu. Well, Zhu, my name is Nancy Drew, and I saw a symbol on the wall when I was in an underground passage not too long ago. It looked like two leaves with two nut-type things attached to them, and I just wondered if you could tell me what it meant or why it was there. Yes, yes, of course I can. But first, you must have Jing write something for me. Write something for you? You must have her write something that I can keep. Have her write. Zhu, my love, Jing. Then, take the metro to the Danfer Rochereau station, enter the catacombs, find the bones from the Magdalene Cemetery, and put the autograph in the skull below the plaque. Have her write, Zhu, my love, Jing. Go to the catacombs, find the Magdalene Cemetery bones, and leave the autograph in a skull. Yes, yes, exactly that. Don't worry about desecrating the person whose bones they may be. 
the skull, it is a fake. My friend and I put it there. And so, after you deliver it, you call me and I tell you all about the symbol you saw. But what if Jing Jing refuses? Then, Nancy Drew, it seems we will both be very disappointed. What? Another question? Look, just send the oldest, moldiest, worst-smelling cheese you have to that address. Now quit calling me and get it done! Uh, Mr. Butterly? Who is this? Well, it's obviously not who you think it is. My name's Nancy Drew. I don't know any Nancy Drew. I'm, a uh, kind of a friend of Minette's. Her, I know. Is that smelly cheese by any chance going to her? Whatever for? Neither she nor her work needs any help from me to stink. Now, if you'll excuse me, whoever you are, I'm going to hang up. Goodbye, then. No, wait. I just want to... Rats. You have reached the Paris studio of Hugo Butterly, world-renowned fashion designer. As you might expect, I'm very busy right now creating my spring collection, about which I'm very excited. Regretfully, I'm far too busy to answer the phone, and as we all know, returning calls is such a bore. May I suggest you peruse my website, www.hugobutterly.mod, and use the link provided to contact me via email. In the meantime, my luscious fall line is in the stores, ready to be bought, worn, and enjoyed. Goodbye, then. Bonjour. No, Nancy! George, go get on the other line, quick. It's Nancy. And remember, talk fast. She's calling all the way from France. So where are you? What have you seen? How do you like Paris? What's Minette like? Have you learned how to design clothes? Beth, slow down. You don't have to talk fast, okay? My dad bought me a phone card and told me to make as many calls as I want. Oh, great. Hi, Nance. What's going on? How's Paris? Have you seen the Louvre? What about the Eiffel Tower? How many famous people George, are George, three words. Prepaid phone card. Oh, great. Hey, perfect timing. We were just about to go for a run. Whoa, wait a minute. A run? Jog. I meant jog. But you said run. I meant jog. You know how I feel about the R word, George. Jog. We're going for a jog, Bess. Honest. So, Nance, tell us about Minette. Well, she's very high strung. Why do you say that? Well, the first time I walked into her office, I was almost decapitated by the potted plant she'd just thrown. She threw a potted plant at you? Before she even knew you? That was rude. Actually, she was throwing it at Heather, her assistant. Oh, and Bess, according to Minette, when something is cool, she says it's totally rude. Rude. You know, that's got a ring to it. He is one rude dude. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna start saying that. I told you guys before I left that I'd be rooming with Jing Jing Ling, right? You mean, you really are? Yes. We thought you were kidding. What's she like? Well... She's very nice. Down to earth, bubbly, outgoing. Just a regular person. Wait a minute. I'm all those things. How come I'm not a famous model? Well, let's see. I was kidding, George. I took this very strange phone call from Annette. At least I tried to. What was so strange about it? The guy wouldn't give me his name, and he sounded very hostile. And he had a German accent. And, not long after that, some unknown person sent Minette a box of cockroaches. Ew, yuck. Tell me about it. They got loose all over her office, and she made me find them and put them back in the box. Double yuck. Did any kind of note come with them? Nope. Sending anonymous letters is one thing, but sending live vermin sounds to me like things are getting personal. Yeah, let's just hope they don't start to get deadly. It turns out that one of the threatening letters Minette got was sent by none other than her own assistant, Heather McKay. 
You're kidding. Why would she do that? According to Heather, it was a spur-of-the-moment thing. She said she got so fed up with Manette one day that she did it to get back at her. She said she never intended to hurt her. Physically, at least. Do you believe her? I guess. Just be careful. Maybe Minette's wackiness is contagious. The windmill Minette works out of was once owned by a woman named Noisette Tornade, who used to be a resistance fighter during World War II. Was it like her headquarters or something? I don't know, but I can tell you that a certain young German fashion photographer who used to date Minette has been carrying around the woman's obituary. Why? Don't know that either. I have the number of someone in the States who's doing research on her. Maybe I'll give her a call. Good idea. Something tells me the more you know about that old windmill, the better off you'll be. Well, I'll let you guys go. Have fun. Amusez-vous bien. Show off. Modern European history, Lynn Manrique. Hello, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Paris. Actually, I talked to you earlier when you tried to call Manette. She's finally calling me back? Wonderful. Please, put her on. Uh, I'd like to, but I'm afraid she's still too busy to talk to you. Oh. But if you don't mind, could I ask you a couple of questions about Noisette Tournade? Certainly. How long did she live in the Moulin, where Manette now has her studio? She lived there for 55 years, from 1949 to 2004. She sold it when she moved to Provence, which is where she passed away. She never married, you know. Very private person. She served as Paris's director of public works for more than 20 years. Yet not one person has been able to tell me what her favorite color was. What did she do during the war? From 1942 until the liberation of Paris, Noisette worked as a translator for the Germans by day and an encoder for the French resistance by night. This, as you might imagine, made everyone suspicious of her, both French and Germans alike. And after the war, things got ugly. Especially when people found out she was romantically involved with a German soldier. His name was Hans. Hans von Schwesterkrank. You're kidding me. What happened to him? Hans left Paris right after the war and never returned, leaving Noisette to fend for herself. She was tried as a collaborator in 1946 and acquitted, but the experience left her quite bitter. You see, some people said that during the war she took various pieces of artwork, mostly from churches, and stashed them away somewhere so they wouldn't fall into enemy hands. That sounds pretty heroic to me. Well, some people said she stole them for herself. And unfortunately, the artwork remains lost to this day. No one knows exactly what Noisette took, or if indeed she took anything. In any case, Noisette was terribly hurt that the city she loved had turned on her like that. After her trial, she told the press that the truth of what she'd done during the war resided in her and in the person and place she loved the most. And that was that. She never spoke of her wartime activities again. I assume that the person she was referring to was Hans von Svesterkrank, who passed away a year or two ago, and that the place was her beloved Moulin, which is why I'm hoping Manette will allow me to visit it. Now, I've got a question for you. In the hours before she died, Noisette was said to have constantly muttered three words, red, left, green. Is there anything inside the Moulin that has to do with red, left, green? Anything at all? No, but I'll keep that in mind and let you know if I see something. I'd appreciate it. Any other questions? What was the French Resistance? That was the name given to the various groups of men and women who did their best to undermine Germany's military occupation of France during World War II. Some would engage in strikes and sabotage, while others would collect and pass intelligence along to the Allies. Needless to say, their operations were highly covert and very dangerous. What else can you tell me about the German occupation of Paris? The German army entered Paris on June 14, 1940, and after France formally surrendered on June 22nd, the Germans controlled the city. They took whatever they wanted, food, supplies, houses, artwork, and dictated how Parisians were to live their lives. Naturally, their presence was deeply resented. 
Some people ignored the situation as best they could, some collaborated with the Germans while others, like those in the resistance, fought back until the city was finally liberated on August 25, 1944. After the war, when she was the director of public works, what kind of things did Noisette do? She oversaw many of the services which the citizens of Paris enjoyed every day. Streets, bridges, parks, their maintenance all came under Noisette's purview. She particularly enjoyed putting various forms of art on permanent display in various public places, especially parks. What's the story behind the Cross of Lorraine? The vertical bar crossed by two horizontal bars is an emblem that was first used by Joan of Arc, as well as the Dukes of Lorraine in the 15th century. But during and after World War II, it became a symbol of the French resistance. Nowadays, it's not unusual to see it on statues or monuments commemorating the period in French history from 1940 to 1945. What did you mean when you said Moisette was tried as a collaborator? Collaborators were French citizens who not only failed to resist the occupation, but actually helped the Germans keep it going. Because Noisette had worked for the Germans as a translator and had a German boyfriend, after the war, many of her countrymen automatically accused her of collaboration. When it was revealed that she had been a member of the resistance, instead of exonerating her, that just made some people think she'd been spying for the Germans, too. As I said before, it was an ugly time, one which poor Noisette spent the rest of her life trying to forget. Do you know anything about the M380 decoder? It's a machine that the resistance is said to have used to encode and decode their messages during the war. To decode a message, the dials on it had to be in the same position as they were when the message was encoded. The famous Enigma machine operated in much the same way. The famous what? The Enigma machine is what the Germans used to encipher and decipher their secret messages during World War II. Allied codebreakers were finally able to figure out how the machine worked, and as a result, some say the war ended two years sooner than it would have otherwise. How likely is it that Noisette used an M380 decoder? I would stake my reputation on it. I really appreciate your help. Call back any time. Jing Jing? No, it's only me, Nancy Drew. Do what I ask, Nancy Drew. Then we will talk. Joe, it's Nancy. Nancy? As in Drew? I thought you were in France. I am in France. Frank, pick up the phone down there. It's Nancy Drew calling from France. Everything okay? Everything's great. <sighs> hey, Nancy. Hi, Frank. Whoa, you sound out of breath. Not out of breath, out of shape. Me? Hey, you're the one who's been taking a break for the last two hours. Break from what? Carrying furniture upstairs. Carpet layers are coming to redo the basement tomorrow, so we gotta get everything out. And I use the term we loosely. Hey, I'm pacing myself here. You're in the kitchen eating jelly donuts, aren't you? Not anymore. Well, I made it to Paris, okay? Great. Exactly where are you? Right now, I'm in the Latin Quarter. Wait a minute. I thought you were in France, not Central America. She's in the Latin Quarter of Paris, Joe, not Latin America. They call it the Latin Quarter because it's where the Sorbonne University is. And until 1793, Latin was the area's official language. Oh, what are you doing there? I'm in the apartment Amy Grunhild arranged for me. In fact, did I tell you who my roommate is? Is it somebody we know? Jing Jing Ling. Jing Jing Ling? The model? You're rooming with J.J. Ling, the famous Australian model? Yep. 
B put her on. Joe, just calm down. I'm calm. I'm very calm. I'm completely calm. I just want to say hi. That's all. Put her on. I can't put her on, Joe. She's not here. Sorry. Oh. Think maybe you could put her on later? Maybe later, yeah. Sweet. Minette's studio is something else. Before you left, you mentioned it was an old windmill or something? Right. It's in an old moulin. That's French for windmill. Like that cabaret, the Moulin Rouge. Exactly. And like the Moulin Rouge, Minette's windmill is in the section of Paris called Montmartre. The outer office looks like any other modern office, but Minette's studio, which is inside the Moulin itself, is very old and funky. How long has she been there? Only about a year or so. Long enough for her to throw paint all over the wall in a fit of anger. She throws paint? Among other things. Yikes. Parts of Paris are real quaint. Like you can buy stuff from these vendors in the park. But if you want to get a good deal, you have to haggle with them. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a pain. Oh, Frank, where's your spirit of free enterprise? What kind of stuff do they have, Nancy? Everything imaginable. It's like a garage sale, only in a park. I love garage sales. I hate garage sales. Plus, their inventory is always changing, so people keep going back to them just to see what new stuff they have. I wish haggling was common in this country. There's nothing better than feeling like you've gotten yourself a really good deal on something. And when somebody rips you off? Nobody rips me off, Frank. Okay, except for that bogus concert ticket I bought from Gerald the budding juvenile delinquent Higginbotham in junior high school. But I was young then, very young. I'll check back with you later. Call back anytime. See ya. It's late. I can do this tomorrow. Hey, Rumi, how's it going? I just talked to this huge fan of yours. He'd really, really like your autograph. I'm flattered, but unfortunately he's out of luck. Nobody gets my autograph. I'm afraid that someone will use it to forge my name and steal my identity. Nobody can steal your identity. You're too famous. Stuff like that happens to people like me all the time. I'm just not going to take the chance. Want to play hangman? That'd be great. Z. Oopsie! You. Afraid not. M. Correct. Y. L. Incorrect. O. Oopsie. V. E. Bingo. J. I. Right you are. N. Wrong. G. I wasn't even close. May I have that piece of paper? Sure. Want to play again? Okay. A. Incorrect. E. I. Afraid not. Y. Q. Sorry. O. Correct. U. H. Right you are. M. Sorry. G. D. Afraid T. not. N. Wanna see the word? You lose. Play again? No, thanks. Anytime you want to play, just let me know. I'll let you get back to your cookie dough. See ya. Oh, s'il vous plaît. Money well spent, I hope. Magdalene. This must be the place Zoo was talking about. And there's a skull.
Allô? It's Nancy Drew. Did you get the autograph? It is magnifique. You were wise not to try to fool me, Nancy. I know Jing's handwriting better than I know my own. So, here is what I know about that symbol. I call it the hazelnut because to me, that is what it looks like. A noisette. Wait a minute. A noisette? Yes, yes. This is French for hazelnut. I have seen it in only one place in the catacombs. To reach this place, return to the catacombs and go to the skull where you left Jing Jing's autograph. Lift the top part of the skull and push the red button. That will open a secret passage that will lead you to the noisette. Great, thank you. But if you go there, you must be careful. The tunnel police, they are one problem. The tunnels, they are another. What do you mean? Some of the tunnels, especially near the Mouton Beverage Company, they are water... water filled with trees. You mean waterlogged? Ah, yes, yes, waterlogged. You must swim underwater to reach the place where I saw the noisette. And the water is very cold. You will need a wetsuit. Good luck, Nancy Drew. You will need that too. Un super... Restez où vous êtes. Je vous arrête. That is one sweet ride. Répète, Fabrice. That is one sweet ride. Time to put on the wetsuit. Hope it's more comfortable than it looks. Ooh, this place is crawling with four-legged vermin. Hope they leave my stuff alone. rough translation would be, in Europe, near the new bridge, Snow White lives in a red castle. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense.
I have no idea what this is, but after everything I went through to get here, I'm taking it. is missing. Ouais, comme d'habitude. T'as jamais entendu l'histoire de la bête de Black Moon Ah oui, ça me fait très peur. Ne pas pas de ça. Qui est là C'est le père Fouetta. Arrête. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Welcome back. What do you like? Guess I'm just not in a buying mood. When you want to look again, just come back. I will. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bonjour, mademoiselle returns. And she returns with a bottle of Mouton Forte, 1968. Oh la la, you did it. So, I take this... And give you this. Take it. You have earned it. Thanks. What else tickles the fancy? I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Bonjour, mademoiselle. What you need, I am sure to have. Well, actually, I'm not interested in buying anything right now. Then you will just have to come back. I might just do that. Bye. Au revoir. I'll see you later. Have fun. I'd better wait until my net's not here before I mess with this. What? There's something that I think you should know about Heather. Oh? What? Oh, it's nothing. Never mind. Any more questions? Guess I'll be going. Good.
the studio of Hugo Bartoli, world-renowned fashion designer. As you might expect, I'm very busy right now creating my spring collection, about which I'm very excited. Regretfully, I'm far too busy to answer the phone, and as we all know, returning calls is such a bore. May I suggest you peruse my website, www.hugobutterly.mod, and use the link provided to contact me via email. In the meantime, my luscious fall line is in the stores, ready to be bought, worn, and enjoyed. Goodbye, then. Mr. Von Schwesterkronk? Are you in there? Who's there? Nancy Drew. I just wanted to ask you some questions. I'm very busy. You'll have to come back. But this is really important. Is there anything I can do to help you? Well, if you want, you could take some stock photos for me. Sure. The list of things I need pictures of is on my desk. You can use the camera I let you borrow. I'll get right on it. Oh, no. The list is in French.
What entries, Mademoiselle, this time? I wouldn't mind painting another picture or two. Be my guest. Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? Not right now. Maybe later. Later, yes. Now you buy something. I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Did you take all those photos for me? I sure did. They're all right there in your camera. So, you had some questions for me? What do you know about Noisette Tornade? The French resistance fighter? I seem to recall reading that she died recently and that's about it. Why do you ask? I know three things, Mr. Von Schwesterkronk. One, Noisette Tornade, whose obituary you were carrying until it fell out of your pocket in the park. Noisette used to own the old windmill Manette now owns. Two, during World War II, she was rumored to have hidden several valuable works of art from the Germans somewhere in Paris. And three, she was romantically involved with a German soldier named Hans. Hans von Schwesterkrank. Oh, yes. I know all those things, too. Hans was my great uncle. But there are one or two things you don't know, Fräulein. You could not have known that just before he passed away, my great-uncle gave me that. What is it? Something Noisette gave to him. Turn it over and look on the back. Unfortunately, my great-uncle couldn't remember what any of it meant. She used to be the director of public works, so I went to her favorite park to see if anything there might help me figure out what that card means. But I discovered nothing. You can keep that if you want. I can? Yes, I give up. I don't care anymore. Finding that lost artwork is why you started going out with Minette, isn't it? Since Minette owns the Moulin, where Noisette spent most of her life, I thought dating her would help me figure out what that card meant. But then something totally unexpected and tragic happened. I fell in love with her. Minette is one of the cleverest, most infuriating yet fascinating women I have ever met. You still feel that way? Even after she broke up with you like that? I can't help myself. 
I thought that if I found that missing artwork, I would be a hero and Minette would change her mind about me. But I can barely keep my mind on my works these days, let alone on finding some mystical treasure. If you want to look for it, go right ahead. Right now, the only thing I'm interested in recovering is Minette. All those eyes must mean something, but what? I need something that will help me decode this. Ren four one five four.
was that? Hey, what's going on? Shoot, that pesky squirrel must have jumped on the handle and moved the windmill. Time to get out my flashlight. Mademoiselle Drew, what is it now? Do you think I could order something? Order anything you like, but know that this time you will pay for it. No problem. La carte, s'il vous plaît. How about the cassoulet? Oui, mademoiselle. Ça fait 9 euros. Your choice costs 9 euros. Bye-bye, hard-earned cash. Who can resist cassoulet? Oh, boy. Mm. Mm. As we say in the U.S. Mm -mm. Excusez-moi, mademoiselle. So, what else do you wish from me? I'd better get going. A tout à l'heure. Wow. 
What is that? Who's out there? It's just me, Nancy. Uh-oh. What did you say? Nothing. Everything's fine. You just stay in there and keep working. Looks like this thing is set to go off if she opens the door. I've got to figure out how to disarm this thing before she opens the door. What are you doing out there? Nothing. Just stay in there. Everything's fine. working. are really starting to bother me. I'm sorry, I'm almost done, really. Shoot. What is that? Who's out there? It's just me, Nancy. Uh-oh. What did you say? 
Nothing. Everything's fine. You just stay in there and keep working. Looks like this thing is set to go off if she opens the door. I've got to figure out how to disarm this thing before she opens the door. What are you doing out there? Nothing. Just stay in there. Everything's fine. are really starting to bother me. I'm sorry, I'm almost done, really. Better get rid of this thing before she sees it and really freaks. The stone discs in this picture could have something to do with the M380 decoder Noisette Tornade used. Hmm, this picture looks like it was cropped. <laughs> 